I'm rather sturdy, determined person. Art is a, it's like a lot of all, all the things, like music, one of the good things that you can enjoy. You can be an artist in a, a lot of different ways, and it can be cultivated. It isn't just something that is given to people here and there. It is something that you can cultivate, and you can learn to enjoy it. Those are the things that you need to put in your life. I had no idea that I could paint. I was supposed to be able to play the piano. Uh, they were having a, a contest to put a drawing in, and I put a drawing in that I had just done. And it took the prize, which rather surprised me. <laughs> and so uh, they had, uh, for people that were just a little bit more advanced, uh, another uh, enter and contest, and I entered it and won the blue ribbon. So I decided maybe I should find myself an art teacher. And that, that winter, why, I took art lessons. Now, I was 40 years of age at the time. I always liked uh, making paper dolls or doing something in the art field. Uh, but it, it was play. It was what I did when I played. And uh, I played with paper dolls and made paper dolls and made dresses for them. But as far as drawing or sketching an outdoor vista uh, was out of reach as far as my art abilities. Uh, in perception and uh, in working with them. I always enjoyed drawing and doing things, but never considered myself uh, as an artist that would create a picture or a painting. Uh, everything comes down basically to a picture. And um, you see life in an entirely different way. You see it with darks and lights. You see it with reds and blues. And nothing is just, just gray. <laughs> oh. You see color. You see color in everything. Oil. Oil is my love. Of course, it's going out of style. It's messy to work with, but I like I like oil. You get good, rich colors with it. But trees are nice. It's very, very nice. Some of them are 
bushy and some of them are very straight and stoic. They're all different. Um, they move from nothing or empty branches to leaves to color, intensity of color, and then the bare tree. So the same scene can have an entirely different look depending upon what time of year you're painting that tree. And uh, certain trees have uh, different colors and their colors will change. Your maple and your oaks, uh, they are just a tree. Uh, they have certain characteristics that make them a maple or a oak, and uh, different colors. Uh, I'm not inspirational. Uh, it has, it has to be the solid for uh, for me to really really paint it. Although I do uh, the artwork of trees and forests generally by memory. Well, you either know it, it's going to be okay or else you just forget it. That you just look at and Put something like that on and that makes it. Next stroke of paint is just what it needed. And it's good therapy. Because when you're working with a painting about that big, why everything is together, and when you get something that big in a painting like that, you have a long way to go. And you, you have to have some visualization. Now that's actually the uh, visual of a building in France, close to Strasbourg painted the church from a, a calendar. If you get completely frustrated, why make a snow scene? <laughs> and I have gone up to people, uh, particularly in foreign countries, and asked if motioned with my hands, and they always uh, are very, very receptive. <laughs> they seem to think it's kind of fun. But, um, and I have done a lot of life sketching abroad. You know, if you sit in a park or Oh, some of the places uh, that are sightseeing places, why uh, you get characters, and particularly uh, the way they're dressed, our, our look. Well, to really get it to look wet, uh, to, and also it's probably one of the most interesting backgrounds uh, to put, to put in. Uh, 
is a water of some kind because it can be moving or slow or give it excitement or a lot of things. Uh, to, A, a, a good comradeship among the people that were playing art. And then ever so often we'd, we'd have a class and we would bring somebody from the outside. They, they may teach us something entirely different. It might be something in knitted or it might be a different kind of paint or the use of a certain color or maybe we'll just draw animals this time. Uh, we tried to get them in our group to meet down there every Tuesday afternoon. So there was always somebody working, uh, trying to keep the artists going. And we did a pretty good job from 103. <laughs> Back when I was in my 70s, why, they really didn't think that I was going to be a healthy old lady. I just learned how to live every day. <laughs> <laughs>